So today's conversation at ECRM was about three things. Number one is social media. How do we engage with consumers pre-store? Second was mobile, proximity marketing. How do we engage with consumers that are within proximity of the store that you, where you want them to buy? And the third is beacons technology. And beacons are about engaging with consumers inside the store. And the differences between these three is you see this entire customer journey from initial consideration to initial engagement to actual purchase behavior. And that's where we start to see like all these three things fitting together as a new digital path to purchase as consumers start to become more savvy with the brands that they want to interact with. What's interesting to me about social media is this is really where most brands are engaging with their consumers today. Unlike traditional broadcast media where you're sort of talking at people, social media is a two-way medium that we can actually engage. Now, we're engaging at various different points in the customer journey. You have sort of a, a discovery process, you know, when people are first trying to discover your brand. You have an engagement process where people are starting to sort of see what is it that they like about your brand, should they make a purchase decision. Then you have the actual purchase and transaction itself, and then you have ad advocacy. And so when you look at all those pieces together, the customer journey, you're really finding that social media is the thing that's driving a lot of those points within the customer journey. Now, yes, there's different ways to go out about and engage customers, but if you think about sort of how you're using social media to both listen to what your customers want and then engage with them on your products, this is a place where you can start to help with the pre-store sales activities. Before someone ever walks into a store, they need to know about your brand, they need to know why they should be buying your brand, and then that will help them take them through all the way to the purchase cycle when they actually are standing in front of the shelf looking at the brand that they've been engaging with you on social media. The thing about mobile is, is that most people think about apps, but 22% of all apps are apps people use versus the 80% that people download, use once, and never use again. So we call those zombie apps. The problem with that is people spend a lot of money, like fifty dollars to $100,000 to build an app, another fifty dollars to $100,000 to promote those apps, and frankly, if they only get used once, it's a huge waste of money. So instead, what we don't think about is mobile as it pertains to proximity marketing. What that means is we can draw circles around your physical retail store and drive people into that store based on their proximity to the store. Let me give you an example. With Google itself, if you wanted to basically touch consumers that are within a mile or five miles or 10 miles of a particular store, that's all you have to do to add that to the parameter of only serve up an ad when that occurs. And you can do that on pretty much any advertising platform these days. So the idea is go after consumers when they're you know, within proximity to be able to buy your product. That's what's exciting to me about mobile today is we can start to add the geographical relevance to the rest of the targeting we've been historically doing through digital.